Hello YouTube, Vlogger Experience here, and this week my video is about how stupid a plebiscite on same-sex marriage is. Firstly, before we begin with this video, I do want to mention the definition of a plebiscite, for those of you who don't know. Plebiscite. Noun. The direct vote of all the members of an electorate on an important public question such as a change in the constitution. Also, before I begin, I do also want to mention that if the Labour Party gets into power, the plebiscite will not be going ahead. Firstly, the two biggest problems with the plebiscite. The first of these is that voting in a plebiscite is non-compulsory. That means that only the most highly motivated people, at least a few of which are homophobic faggots and Bible literalists like the Australian Christian Saudi Arabia lobby who wants to make Australia a theocracy, basically the Christian Saudi Arabia. There are no guidelines on the plebiscite and there's no transparency rules either. This is the second main reason. So all of the anti-same-sex marriage lobbies can pour millions of dollars into their hate campaigns. And this is because a lot of the Christian hate mongers are also extremely rich thanks to their gullible audiences. So they have funds to burn in funding the hate campaigns. In addition, because the plebiscite is not going to be run at the same time as the election, this is going to waste a lot of money. More than $100 million will be wasted in this plebiscite. And considering that more than $200 million have already been wasted on two royal commissions, one of which has resulted in a double dissolution trigger that is only being used for political reasons, along with the voting reforms, which are basically designed to freeze as many of the small parties out of the voting system as possible, it's just horrid. $300 million, we have a lot more better things that we can spend $300 million on. Just want to quickly mention though that these reforms to the voting laws have been challenged by Bob Day of Family First in the High Court. I'll probably make a video on the result of that. Stay tuned. In addition, not only can Parliament already legislate same-sex marriage and make it legal, but Parliament both has the mandate and the responsibility. The High Court of Australia has already confirmed that Parliament can enact marriage equality. And, if a free vote is guaranteed, the legislation for marriage equality could be enacted by the end of 2016. In addition, we already have a majority of people in support of same-sex marriage. 72% of the population support same-sex marriage, according to the research company Crosby Texter. But personally... Although I don't like it, there is a part of me that wants this plebiscite because it's so easy to destroy these homophobes and their stupid arguments and fallacious reasoning and their slippery slopes and the extreme stupidity that they spew. They just hate. That's all they are. They're just hate hateful people and hate groups and they should be treated as such. And, of course, the anti-same-sex marriage guys have had a bit of suppression when it comes to freedom of speech. It just gives another aspect of freedom of speech. Let these homophobic faggots speak and then annihilate them and show how fucking stupid, illogical, theocratic and fucking moronic they are. And for anybody who's wondering why I use the term homophobic faggot, it's because it has been studied. And it has often been found, in fact it has been found, that people who are more homophobic are more repressed and more likely to be gay. Many of the radical homophobes you see on Right Wing Watch blog are homophobic faggots. <laughs> and I use homophobic faggot to describe many of these people who are opposed to same-sex marriage because usually they hate same hate gay marriage, yet they're gay themselves. They just don't want to come out of the closet. And it's usually because of religion. Because they're oppressed sexually. Exactly what religion does. Represses people. Especially sexually. And even if the plebiscite's successful, politicians will still refuse to change the law. Because, unlike a referendum, the plebiscite doesn't give the government a mandate. So the same groups who oppose same-sex marriage, like Cory Barnyard Bernardi, will continue to oppose it. So, before I go, I just want to say this. No plebiscite! Make this a referendum and force the parliament to mandate marriage equality. So, that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, share and subscribe and have a great day everyone.